What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel. My name is Big Fry. Shout out to the Fry Nation guys. Today we're taking a look at a game called Dead by Daylight. This game is coming out on June 14th, but we got a sneak peek. The game is being developed by Behavior Digital and being published by Starbreeze Studios. Dead by Daylight is an asymmetrical multiplayer horror thriller survival game. Basically one person plays as the killer, the other four play as survivors. So there are five people in a match, four survivors trying to escape the map and you have one killer trying to inevitably murder every single person there. The survivor's job is to repair generators to power up an escape route. They can hit the switch and move on. Now I've got to play a few hours of their limited closed beta test. If you guys want a key, there's one on the screen right now. Guys, this game is actually really intense playing as the survivor. You can hide in tall grass, crouch around. It's basically like a stealth action game as the killer's walking around trying to find you and you're hiding and then you have to repair the generators and the thing is, is once you go to repair a generator there are like quick time events. They're called skill checks. If you hit the space bar at the right time, you're golden. If you don't, the generator blows up in your face, makes a loud noise, and the killer is instantly notified. Now he's going over to your position, so you have to go hide. If the killer tracks you, you're basically dead. And so it's really tense. There's an element of teamwork involved with this. Even though everybody in the survivor camp is like every man for themselves, you have to work together to get objectives done. If somebody gets caught by the killer, the killer can like hang them on hooks and watch them get sacrificed to the, the devil, basically basically and if you see somebody on a hook as a survivor you could go up and unhook them and and they might help you work on a generator and you know work towards that end goal or you can say fuck that dude i'm gonna try and do it myself now in the limited closed beta we only get one map we only get one killer when the game launches you're gonna have access to three killers 12 maps in three unique locations and there is a lot of skill building with all of these survival characters. You have skill trees. They say it's really deep skill progression, which is fantastic. Each character has different perks. So I believe somebody can like unhook people faster. Somebody can work on generators faster. It's pretty fucking cool. Now, I know the Friday the 13th game is coming out in the future. You know, it was a successful Kickstarter. I actually backed that game. This game, on the other hand, like this is coming out in June. I feel like they're launching with a decent amount of content. The gameplay so far, yeah, there's been a couple of bugs. Like, we've ran into glitches where the killer can pick up two characters at once, and it kind of glitches. It, it seems more like a server desync issue. Like, the killer can see somebody on a hook, and we can't, and it's just, it's kind of clusterfuck like that. Um, the biggest issue that I have found is actually being on the ground, crawling, and not being able to recover. I spoke to my boy, Abel Green. He says that he heard that it is going to be fixed. So I'm guessing this is just an old, limited build that they built for marketing purposes. I'm hoping that's the case, because... Because to be honest, like those two are kind of like game changing bugs. Um, we ran into just some clunkiness with the animations and stuff. It's it's something that that can be worked on in the future. But that's where my number one concern comes from is, is this going to be an early access title? Now, based on what I've seen with the clunkiness and, and the bugs that I've seen, we have two weeks until this game's going live. It's going live on June 14th. Is this going to be early access? And if not... Ugh, I don't know if they're uh, this. Hopefully, this is just an old build, and I'm just being a little bit cautious. Um, but if it comes out and they have these issues fixed, and it's not an early access title, I think this is going to be a really good party game to play with friends. You know, just have a casual night, have some fun. After Evolve came out. I, like, shunned all asymmetrical multiplayer games. This one's actually kind of fun. It's not trying to be competitive eSports like Evolve was. It wasn't trying to be some huge fucking thing. It's just a fun game. You can play with your friends and, and just enjoy yourself. So, guys, I want to know what you guys think. In the comments below, use the keyword daylight. There's an annotation on the top right of your screen. You can vote. I want to know if this is something that you guys are going to be picking up. Vote yes or no. We can discuss this on a future podcast or maybe in another video I do on the game. And I'll see you on the next one.